This is my last Zodiac inspiration video, so that means there's room to do another inspiration video series. I have a few ideas, but I'd like to hear from my patrons, so please go to patreon.com slash Karen Terry and vote in this poll. The key word for Capricorn is serious. Put Capricorn in the sun, moon, or ascendant position for your character to come off as disciplined, status conscious, or condescending. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk all about Capricorn characters. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is finally the last video that we're going to have in the Zodiac series. Um, I, I kind of can't believe that we're at the end, but we are. So Capricorn, last but not least. If you didn't watch my first astrology video, link up in the card for that. I do recommend that you watch that first because it explains all of the background for the stuff that we're going to go over today. And today it is all about Capricorn characters. Capricorn is represented by the goat. Its element is earth and its quality is cardinal. Earth signs are known for being steadfast and practical, and cardinal signs desire a deep focus in their lives. They represent new beginnings and the energy of starting things as they come at the beginning of a season. And Capricorn falls at the beginning of winter. The sun is typically in Capricorn from December 22nd to January 19th. Being the cardinal earth sign, Capricorn is seen as both responsible and well-mannered. They are the traditionalists of the zodiac. Capricorns are masters of self-control, and they rely only on themselves. Their plans are solid and realistic, so they tend to have the ability to manage many people at once. They rely on experience and expertise, and that mixed with their independence means they can sometimes be really stubborn and unforgiving. Capricorn's ruling planet is Saturn, and remember, Saturn represents the nature of your restraints and inhibitions. So Capricorns tend to be practical and responsible, but they can also be cold and distant. An ill-tempered Capricorn can be too stubborn to change their mind or refuse to accept differences in others. The key word for Capricorn is serious. Put Capricorn in the sun, moon, or ascendant position for your character to come off as disciplined, status conscious, or condescending. As we've said before, what sign the sun is in during the time of someone's birth is their sense of self, what drives them, and their central instincts. So, the sun can be in these positions, but any planet can be in any of the signs. So let's talk about those as well. And just like we've done in all of the other Zodiac videos, I'm going to have a character example so that you can kind of take this information and put it into context. Your rising sign is what you project out onto the world, and Capricorn rising tends to have a serious presence. With this placement, even their jokes are deadpan. Capricorns seem to come out of the womb being responsible. These are people that since childhood, they have done their chores, they've shown up on time, they have crossed all their T's and dotted all their I's. They make success look easy by being incredibly patient and hardworking, but the truth is this placement might not be making enough time for fun. The moon in Capricorn shows someone who has an emotional need for their productivity. They aren't fulfilled unless they're being useful in some way, and this makes them come across as competent in many of their endeavors. They tend to set up clear boundaries with others and realistic goals for themselves. They are calm, cool, and collected on the outside, and do what they can to keep their emotions inside. All right, let's next get into those personal planets. You're going to see all of the same themes here, but just applied to the realm of that planet. Mercury and Capricorn color someone's communication style as serious. They tend to speak and write slowly and methodically, and they appreciate structure in their conversation. Bullet points, clear step-by-step, -step, an essay with obvious section headers, this is the way they tend to present and prefer to consume information. Their first reaction to new pieces of information tends to be skepticism. They prefer to rely on the tried and true. So when they come across something that's new for them, they'll question it first. Venus in Capricorn colors someone's love and desires as serious. They try to win love and achieve their desires through self-control, responsibility, and presence of mind. They tend to be the sort of aloof loner type, so it might take a while to get to know them, but once you do, they can be very romantic. 
They're concerned with what the image of their relationship looks like to others, so they will tend to lean on romantic gestures. Also, family is incredibly important to them, so they will highly prioritize their partners. Mars in Capricorn colors someone's ambitions as serious. They have a slow, determined energy. They don't shy away from hard work, and they are very goal-oriented. Capricorn's patience and realistic demeanor means, though, that their goals are things that they can achieve given enough time. It's important to this placement to remain in control, so when they experience things like anger or passion, they tend to channel it into doing something productive. Jupiter in Capricorn attracts good fortune when they're serious. This placement should be organized, direct, and conduct themselves with integrity. They value long-term achievements and stability. They are always good stewards of their resources and excellent at streamlining processes. And status is very important to this placement. Saturn in Capricorn shows a lot of Capricorn traits in what they fear. They have a strong self-preservation instinct and are really responsible. However, sometimes they set such a high bar for themselves that they can't achieve their goal level. That inflated sense of responsibility can sometimes make them feel so overwhelmed that they don't even start on their goals. This placement does best when they harness that steady nature of Capricorn and take their goals one step at a time. And those are our personal planets. Let's move next to our outer planets. And remember, those are less individual, more generational. Uranus in Capricorn is a time for serious enterprising ambitions. There is a strong sense of responsibility, but rebellious Uranus in Sirius Capricorn is a bit of a contradiction. During this time, traditional and conservative ideals are paid more respect to being preserved as changes come about. And during this time, there is no change for change's sake. All change is very careful and methodical. The last time Uranus was in Capricorn was from December 1988 to January 1996. Neptune in Capricorn has serious dreams. This is a time to dream of practical and obvious things, such as wealth or fame or power or control. The status consciousness in Capricorn means hierarchies and bureaucracies thrive during this time. They like their authority, so they want to trust those who are above them. The last time Neptune was in Capricorn was from 1984 to 1998. Pluto in Capricorn signifies a time to get serious about transformation. This time has incredible clashes with authority, but the difference here is now the clashes are organized and systematic with a specific goal. This is a time for pushing against being controlled and feeling powerless. The serious, determined Capricorn wants to take the status that they are owed and own it. Pluto is in Capricorn now and will stay there until 2024. So that's how all of the planets react when they are in Capricorn. As usual, I barely touched on a lot of this stuff, so I have linked down below all of my favorite astrology websites that you can check out. And I would love if in the comments you would tell me all about your Capricorn characters if you already have one, or if you're considering making one now that you've seen this video. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to make it a great day.